Hey, I'm Mark Kushner. I'm from NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, and I'm working on a project called Disk Detective. At Disk Detective, we've taken data from one of our space missions, and we've put it on a website, and we're asking you for help figuring out what it means. At the diskdetective.org website, you'll watch 10-second videos of data from NASA's WISE mission and other observatories. These videos will show the same astronomical source seen at 10 different bands. Looking at the same object at different wavelengths lets you see different things. For example, an object that looks like a star at one band may turn out to be a galaxy when you see it at another band. At Disk Detective, we're trying to find new planetary systems. To do this, we look for sources that are a little bit brighter at infrared wavelengths than they would be otherwise. The extra light at the infrared comes from dust or planetesimals that are orbiting the star. When you go to diskdetective.org, you'll see a screen a little bit like this. On one side of the screen, you'll see a list of buttons that you can click on. On the other side of the screen, you'll see this 10 second video of one astronomical source seen at several different bands. When you press the play button, the video will start. When the video is through, you click on one of those buttons to describe what you saw. The information that you enter on the website gets collected in a database and sent to us at NASA to help us figure out what these sources are. Some of the sources that you look at are going to be trash. Either they'll be a real star with other stuff in the background, or they'll be a galaxy or a asteroid flying by. Sometimes we even see airplanes and glitches in the detectors. But every now and then, if you're lucky, you might be able to discover something new. In fact, many of the objects at this detective have never been looked at by anyone else you may be the first person to discover this new planetary system. What we're looking for are clean, bright points of light with nothing else around them. In particular, if you see other objects inside the red circle on the screen, that's a problem. Those objects inside the red circle could be contaminating the images, tricking us into thinking that we're seeing a planetary system when we're just seeing a combination of multiple objects. So we keep a special lookout for multiple objects in the red circle. We look out for objects that are extended beyond the red circle, and we look out for objects that shift around during the little video. If you click on an icon on the upper right-hand corner of the video on the Disk Detective screen, it will take you to a social network called Talk. At Talk, you can interact with the science team from Disk Detective. You can meet other citizen scientists from around the world, and you can learn more about the object that you're looking at. The sources that you discover at diskdetective.org get submitted to a variety of other telescopes to reobserve. We use the other telescopes to learn what kind of star we're looking at and to check for other kinds of contamination. So far, more than 30,000 people have logged on to diskdetective.org and helped us do our science. Thanks to your help, we think the Disk Detective project will reach completion right about the time when the James Webb Space Telescope launches. That's important because we think that many of the objects that you're finding are going to be good targets for this new space telescope. Thanks for watching me talk about Disk Detective. If you want to try Disk Detective, just go to diskdetective.org. I'm Mark Kushner from NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.